Howdy, this is Mackenzie Franklin from Side Game LLC here in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Today we're going to be taking a look at War Chest and how to organize it. Now this does include the Siege and Nobility expansions, and they're all included in the same box, and this is with no lid lift. This is all in the original War Chest package, that way you can get things started quickly and it's not going to be in those multiple boxes. Without further ado, let's begin. So first off, we've got the awesome magnetic clasp here to open up the board. And on the top, we're going to put all of the bags for the different players. So War Chest is a two to four player game, or two or four player game, I should say. And you've got to make sure you've got the components to accommodate all those. Underneath, you can see right off the bat that we've made some modifications. So the Siege expansion comes with an additional tray. So both expansions comes with, come with an extra tray. So if you go ahead and cut the pieces here, because you'll still have some extra room, even if you do cut out the pieces, then you'll be able to make sure that your chip trays fit without having all that extra room. So in the extra room, all of this was empty. So cutting it made it so that it is still well organized. You can still lift the lid off and it's still a nice tray that's gonna hold those pieces. So um, cutting it was my solution to make sure that everything's gonna fit nicely. So all the siege stuff is in one little bin here and you'll put that to the side. On the left here, we see that we have some Dollar Tree containers, and you can get these 10 for a dollar. I really like them. You can put the pieces on the bottom here so that they have a nice stand on the table, and they're clear and see-through so you can see what's inside. Now, they have the new updated control markers. You can go ahead and throw out the old ones. These are hexagonal so that you can actually see them underneath the other chips, which is super nice. These come in the Nobility expansion. So really nice, a small change, but really, really helpful for visibility in playing the game. So each of these is going to contain the pieces for each player. So you've got the two command tokens for the wolf player, as well as your seals. So all that will fit into a single container here. And you can leave your command tokens on top. That way you have kind of a pool that you can grab them from. So really nice, small container, fits perfectly for everything here. And the same thing is going to be said for the other container, but this is for the Raven pieces, so all the blue characters things. In addition, on this left side, just in a simple plastic bag here, you're going to have all of the decree cards, and in addition to the unit cards and the formation cards. So right now, if you've got the token, this is the flip to see who goes first. So that's in that bag because you do use it every game. You've got all of the unit cards here. Pretty nice. You've got the formation cards. So these are the fortification maps. So these are for the new siege expansion. They kind of detail where you're going to put the strongholds. And then you've also got the royal decrees. So these give you some extra flexibility for your um, royal coin. I really like these. So that's all of the cards, just simply in a bag with the first player marker. I guess the initiative token is the appropriate name for it. Now, underneath all of these components, you're going to put the flat pieces, so the rule books for the main game, the expansions, and then I've printed out some of these reminder tokens for the different abilities, and that way you can kind of give them to a player that's just starting out. That way they can see at a glance what your powers do. You can find these printouts at Board Game Geek. Very useful. Up next, we have the board itself. And on the bottom, we have a full chip tray. So this one, you do not need to cut. This comes in the base game or in the Siege or Nobility expansion. So really, you just need about one and two-fifths of these chip trays to fit everything. But this one's kind of nice because you can just pull the lid off and you don't have to take it out. So you can just pull the lid off here. <laughs> I like how I'm struggling. But you pull the lid off and all the chips are here. You just grab the chunk that you need at the time and you're ready to go. And when you're finished, you simply just place the lid back on top. Perfect. And that's everything for organization. Without further ado, let's go ahead and put everything back. So first, we got our board. We got our other flat components. We've got our silica gel packet for freshness. We've got some poker chips for the Siege expansion. We've got the cards. We've got the two small container organizers for the player pieces. And then we have all the bags that just rest nicely on top. And then we close it up. And that is War Chest.
including both expansions. If you have any questions about my organization method here, please leave a comment down below. If you have any suggestions on what I could do to improve this, or maybe to future-proof future expansions, please let me know. Thanks so much for watching. I hope some of you found this useful side game strong.